Number 10. Slapstick. The character first appeared in Slapstick No. 1 in November 1992. Slapstick was created by Lynn Kaminsky and James Fry. The character's real name is Stephen Harmon, a teenager who gains superpowers through a bizarre accident involving an experimental teleportation device. The accident transforms him into a living, cartoon-like character with the ability to manipulate reality, bend the laws of physics, and generate cartoonish weaponry. Slapstick is known for his surreal and humorous adventures, often breaking the fourth wall and embracing a comedic and lighthearted tone. He has been a member of various superhero teams, including the New Warriors. Number 9. Dupe. He first appeared in X-Force No. 117 in 2001. Dupe was created by Peter Milligan and Mike Allred. Dupe is a mysterious and enigmatic character associated with the mutant superhero team X-Force and its various iterations. He is often depicted as a floating, green, spheroid creature with a face on his chest. Dupe is known for speaking in a language called Dupe Speak, which consists of seemingly random symbols. Dupe's origin and nature are intentionally left vague and mysterious, adding to the character's intrigue. Despite his peculiar appearance, Dupe has played various roles in different storylines, including serving as a cameraman and documentarian for the Ecstatics team. Dupe's abilities displayed in the comics thus far have included superhuman strength and durability, flight, regeneration, physical malleability, a vaguely defined ability to manipulate time and or space, and the ability to replicate physical objects by unknown means. Number 8. Throg, also known as Frog Thor, first appeared in Thor, number 365 in 1986. The character was created by writer Walter Simonson. Throg is a frog who possesses the power of Thor, the god of thunder. The character's origin involves Simon Walterson, a Central Park groundskeeper and an animal companion of Thor, being transformed into a frog version of Thor. Throg wields a sliver of Mjolnir, Thor's enchanted hammer, granting him Thor's powers and the ability to speak. Number 7. Mr. Immortal first appeared in West Coast Avengers number 46. He is a member of the Great Lakes Avengers and possesses the ability to resurrect himself after death. His origin involves a traumatic childhood with the cosmic entity Death Urge appearing to him and influencing his actions. Despite numerous suicide attempts, Mr. Immortal discovers that he cannot die permanently. His power of immortality, combined with rapid regeneration, makes him a unique and resilient character in the Marvel Universe. The specifics of his abilities include recovering from various fatal injuries and lack of aging. Number 6. Glob Herman. Glob Herman first appeared in New X-Men issue 117, 2001. His real name is Robert Herman, a mutant specifically associated with the X-Men. His distinctive appearance involves being composed of living and transparent wax, which allows his internal organs and skeleton to be visible. This unique physical composition sets him apart from many other mutants. Glob Herman's ability to light his waxy skin on fire and launch bits of himself at enemies adds an interesting and visually striking element to his character. The combination of his appearance and abilities provides a mix of both physical and psychological impact in battles. Number 5. NFL Super Pro He first appeared in NFL Super Pro No. 1, 1991. NFL Super Pro is a unique and somewhat unconventional superhero character that emerged from a collaboration between the NFL, National Football League, and Marvel Comics. Phil Grayfield, the protagonist, was a former NFL star who became a superhero after a career-ending injury. The character's origin involves Grayfield being doused in chemicals, rendering him invulnerable, and inspiring him to take on the mantle of NFL Super Pro. He took on villains such as The Calculator, Girth, and The Almighty Dollar, reflect a theme related to both superheroics and football. While NFL Super Pro may not have achieved the same level of popularity as some other Marvel characters, its existence remains a curious footnote in the history of superhero comics. The collaboration between the NFL and Marvel led to a limited comic book series featuring NFL Super Pro and showcased the potential for cross-promotion between different industries. Number 4. Magot. Magot A.K. Japheth first appeared in Uncanny X-Men number 345, 1997. He was briefly a member of the X-Men. A flamboyant South African mutant who spoke an exaggerated Afrikaans slang, Magot was advertised as one of the strangest X-Men. His digestive system took the form of two slugs which could eat through practically any substance. After feeding, the slugs re-entered Magot's abdomen and passed nourishment into him, 
giving him incredible power. His digestive system replaced by a hollow cavity that houses a pair of semi-sentient slugs called Eni and Mini who bore their way out of his torso and then use powerful enzymes to process and digest any solid objects in their path at super speeds. Transmitting food energy back to their host to supercharge his physical size, strength, stamina, and sturdiness while turning his skin blue and his eyes red, but the slugs must re-enter through his belly and release their storage internally to feed his body properly. Psychometric power enables him to draw psychic imprints from his environment, replaying in his mind's eye events which once took place or will soon take place in his general vicinity. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three, Sleepwalker. He first appeared in Sleepwalker number one, June 1991. The Sleepwalkers are a group of characters in Marvel Comics, and Sleepwalker is one specific character among them. Sleepwalker, in particular, is a unique entity that serves as a dream police of sorts, apprehending beings that invade the sleeping minds of humans. Sleepwalker was tricked by a foe named Cobweb into entering the mind of a New York college student named Rick Sheridan. Once inside Rick's mind, Sleepwalker became trapped. This led to various confrontations within Rick's dreams. However, an interesting twist occurred when Rick tore off Sleepwalker's Imaginator, a device used by Sleepwalkers to teleport within their home plane, the Mindscape. As a result of this incident, Sleepwalker became connected to Rick in an unusual way. When Rick slept, Sleepwalker could materialize in reality, or he could stay in Rick's mind and communicate with him through dreams. Through conversations and dreams, Sleepwalker was able to dispel Rick's initial fears and establish agreeable terms for their cohabitation. Number 2. Madcap. Madcap first appeared in Captain America No. 307, 1985. Madcap has a unique and tragic origin story. Before becoming Madcap, he was a religious man who, along with his parents and sister, participated in a trip organized by a group. During the trip, the bus they were in faced a tragic accident orchestrated by terrorist scientists from AM, Advanced Idea Mechanics. The goal of the terrorists was to destroy a chemical known as Chemical X-07, which had the potential to induce rapid healing in human bodies. The accident claimed the lives of all the people in the bus except for the man who would later become Madcap. Unbeknownst to him, he lay unconscious on a pool of X-07 for hours, and the chemical eventually evaporated. When he regained consciousness in a hospital, he discovered that he was the sole survivor of the incident. This realization shattered his faith in a rational universe. Driven to madness, the man attempted to commit suicide by throwing himself in front of a car, expecting to feel pain and harm. However, to his surprise, he was unharmed. This experience further intensified his descent into madness. He realized that the accident had granted him immunity to damage. Madcap possesses a specialized form of mind control that makes his targets highly susceptible to suggestion. Even without specific suggestions, his influence induces wild and uninhibited behavior, causing a form of temporary madness in his victims. Madcap requires some form of medium to transmit his psionic power, which can vary according to his needs. Number 1. Zorn. Quanin Zorn first appeared in New X-Men number 1, 2001. Zorn has a unique mutant power that manifested in a rather tragic way. His mutant abilities caused his normal head to be burned away by a tiny star. Interestingly, his twin brother, Shin Zorn, also manifested similar powers. Due to the dangerous nature of their abilities, both Quan Yin and Shin Zorn were kept isolated. They wore iron masks to safeguard others from the effects of their powers. Even Quan Yin's twin brother had minimal contact with him, as both were kept in separate prisons. Quan Yin's warden eventually sold him to John Sublime, who had plans to harvest his mutant brain. Faced with such a grim fate, Quan Yin attempted suicide by reversing the power of his star. However, Cyclops intervened and convinced him to escape that fate. Quan Yin Zorn ultimately decided to join the staff at the Xavier Institute, marking a turning point in his story. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.